size, nature, distinguishing qualities. You search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? Witness mistook obvious silver dragon for brass. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? Did, didn't they? Oh, oh, curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one, a captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! Never you mind. I'm on my way to their camp as we speak. I always knew my studies in Gukliak would come to some use. Oh, never you mind. Who needs mercy when you've a quick tongue, hmm? Huh? And an invisibility potion stashed in your back pocket. Until we meet again. The bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. I... Forgive me. 
It is not you I fear. It is my brethren. More follow Korga every day. They are afraid, and she offers a simple solution. Eject the refugees, and we will be safe. A druid and an outsider. We can do nothing without turning the others against us. Only Master Hulsin can stop this. I pray my bird returns with news of him. If not, I fear for my people. I would prefer not to. But if Master Hulsin does not return, Korga will give the order. And my voice will not matter. Find our master. Returned. Sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. We will speak soon enough. First... Judgment must be passed. The parasite eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Korga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. Very well. She may go. Break your word, and my serpent shall feed. Sif, sif, Tila to me! <laughs> Out, thief. My grace has its limits. <sighs> it hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin. Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Yes, you would say so. I know your kind. You see only villains and victims. A viper bears her fangs, defending her brood. I call her mother. You call her monster. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. The rite of thorns. It is the Tree Father's gift that none come to harm. When we speak the final prayer, the great vine will sprout forth. The grove will be cloaked in bramble and thorn. No one enters, no one leaves. Sanctuary. None of this can happen while outlanders infect us. Sylvanus demands that we choke them out. Nothing! They've done everything. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to the tiefling leader. Zevlor, he's called. Offer to guide the outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the viper 
must strike. Then they soon know the sting of my venom. Get out. We have no more business. Give me a moment. God, our field mouse. No one's more important than the patient in front of you. This may be There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? You found her, but I still don't know what she can do for you. You and every other soul here. I can help if something's wrong. I'm no Master Halson, but I can manage. Suit yourself. I'll be here if you change your mind. I know that look. It's just something I have to live with. Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. I keep some milk right in the stores. Yes? Discovered some new egg, have you? Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. Crawled in. Some sort of bug? Or. Wait, did it look like a tadpole? But from your worst nightmare? All slime, teeth, and tentacles. That's a serious condition. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. No. That was Master Halson. A pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. Please, don't mind me. I'll just watch. All right. Let's see what we can do. It might. But first things first, tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? Nothing? You sure? All right. I suppose that makes things easier. Give me your arm, please. You came to me for help. Do you want it or not? No. I can't let you leave. You could transform any second. 
This is the last time I'll ask. Please. To hell's with it. dodge her blow, but as you regain your footing, you can see the pain in her eyes. I'm sorry. I truly am. But I can't let you go. If you transform out there, you'll kill everyone in the grove. Everyone for leagues around. Master Halson did say the Drow's tadpole was dormant. Maybe yours is too. All right, but on one condition. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. Swear it. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying, trying to figure out what the hells was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. For one, that thing in your head is like nothing we've ever seen from mind flayers. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers. Telepathic connections. And it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Hard to say, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. The thing is, I've sent birds to find him, but the place is rotten with goblins. None of us can even get close. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned, and perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. Alison, just want my bed. Why the... There's something in that vessel. Take a closer look.
something over there. That's curious. I can't even see a lock to pick. these parasites. Will we survive them? People only if my people extract them. Something's wrong. The only other cure is the blade. Like that. Okay. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. I'm so, so sorry. It's our brother, True Soul Edwin. He's injured, and I... I wasn't thinking. Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. The injured man locks eyes with you. The parasite writhes in your head. Your limbs do not obey. Your minds... Protect them. Mind the true soul. She will. She. She. <sighs> Edwin! He's with the Absolute. A true soul. Thank the Absolute. Edwin. Our brother. He was. Tr Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. What? What are you doing? Your sword, brother! Now! Break them. <laughs> Another fight. Let's go.
strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Your limbs move of their own accord. There's something of value here, something your mind craves. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. as soon as they need to. Vile parasites. All the more reason to rid ourselves of our own uninvited guests. Your kind will punish you for consorting with us. My name is Lazelk Chucky. And my kin will understand my need for servants. They will help you, but only if I ask. An empty mind flare vessel. If its occupant survived, then nowhere to be seen. can search for you, Lazel. I know they do not. It is my responsibility to cleanse myself. They pursued the Nautiloid. Perhaps they were trying to free you. A vain notion. I am one of many and will not be a burden to my queen. <laughs> someone who wronged you. Wrong me how? Oh, say, murder or theft? Killing is good. It culls the weak. But theft would be paid for painfully a thousand times over. Hmm, good to know. is tiring, Shadowheart. By all means, leave if I am so distasteful. I'd rather not turn my back on you, if it's all the same. The dog lowers his hackles, his head tilted inquisitively. 
Convinced that you're harmless, he turns his attention back to the corpse. With a deep, heartbroken whine, the dog bows his head. The dog looks at his owner with sad eyes. He does not move. The dog sniffs your hand, his tail swung low in understanding. He knows how to find you. chance I'll fit in there. <clears throat> Weapon blueprints. A master blacksmith's work. from the tough, leathery meat. Your cautious method pays off. The dagger glides smoothly out of the mystery meat. Care for fish. Red meat. Now, that's a different matter. Rare as can be. Dripping. Well, unless we find a cure, you won't have any teeth to chew it with soon enough. to fly. Stop this thing! <laughs> Flap those wings some more and I'll feed you a worm. And you. Hope you got a stomach for rights. What's it bloody look like? We're teaching this here pipsqueak to fly. You want this little cave lurking what's it? Find your own. He's ours! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. I... Yes. Whatever you want. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. The goblin's nostrils flare nervously. All of his bluster seems to vanish. We're leaving. What about the gnome? Ain't we supposed to bring him to... I said we're leaving! Uh, apologies, sir. 
We didn't mean to doubt a true soul. We'll be off. Fresh mates, scared mates, yeah. Red the meat! Red the throat! Roll in the blood! What are you waiting for? No hesitation. <gasps> Tending. Oh, 
much longer. I don't care for fish. Red meat. Now, that's a different. Go on, then! I'm my chick, though! Frolly! You have one. See, please. I know things. If you let me live, I'll make it worth your while. I promise. All right. Just don't hurt me.
What's going on back there? Go check it out! On it. There are important matters to discuss. Don't sleep well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong, or maybe you just get lucky. Shit. No, no, it's not what it looks like. I swear. I, I wasn't going to hurt you. I, I just needed. Well, blood. There, in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire, a slave to sanguine hunger. I've never killed anyone. Well, not for food. I feed on animals, boars, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. But it's not enough. Not if I have to fight. I feel so... weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer, fight better. Please. A strange sensation courses through you. And your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. <laughs> At best, I was sure you'd say no. More likely, you'd ram a stake through my ribs. No. I needed you to trust me. And you can trust me. Thank you. Do you think you could trust me just a little further? I only need a taste. I swear. Really? I... Of course. Not one drop more. Let's make ourselves comfortable, shall we? of ice into your neck, a quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches, your pulse quickens. finally clear. I feel strong. I feel happy. Shouldn't take long. So many people need killing. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. This is a gift, you know. I won't forget it. You watch as he stalks towards the forest. Stronger, more confident, ready to hunt. I would have You find well, but you're so efficient. Why not have a little fun? Fun? I fight to win. Make spectacles. <sighs> What a waste. Cut me loose! Ugh. 
Bag of Kamara. Those pustulant thugs. Well, get on with it. You saved me. Now you'll extort me. That's how this works, yes? Uh, my own fault, really. I should have dropped my pack and outrun those bastards. Alas. Take my pack, if you can find it. The only reason those goblins caught me was its weight. I'll travel lightly from now on. Ignorance is alive and well, it seems. Deep gnomes aren't restricted to the Underdark, you know. I've lived in Baldur's Gate for years. I'm in search of a friend. I fear he's in trouble. See this? I gave it to him years ago before I left home. I found it around the neck of a thug in the lower city. It was speckled with blood. My friend, nowhere to be found. But I still have hope. I have reason to believe he's in the Underdark. Hopefully, I'll pick up his trail from there. I always help my friends. On that note, <clears throat> I bid thee farewell. If we should meet again, well, we will have met again. Hmm. Shadow. Such a grim name for such a beautiful flower. Could you not stare so blatantly in my neck when you say that, please? Oh, but do keep calling her flower. She'll love that. You sniffing where you ain't ought to be, friend. Might have to take that nose. As the symbol glows, Power courses through you. Authority. <laughs> yes! Yes, true soul! Your mind lurches, reeling suddenly as if bitten. Don't... don't let me keep you, boss. Uh, lads were gathered by the windmill.
Dead goblins. Dead travelers. Were they heading to the druid's cliff? All's well that ends. Not as bad as So the tadpole have. gives us the ability to influence others. Ignore it. Deny it. This is nothing but a disease, and every use will sicken us further. T nonsense. Any power freely given is a power well received, and this is a valuable power indeed. It's only valuable if we understand it, and we don't. Not yet, at least. My point exactly. I'm so glad you agree. Just want Marina back. Lads, for the love of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. Drop the act, hag. You was the last to see Marina. Just let her go. Please. Thank goodness you're here, sweetie. I, I don't know what's come over these boys. Stop this. We, we won't ask again. Careful! Don't trust a word out of her mouth. 